Hey, AAA, I love the show. You're awesome. Heart. Thank you. I was waiting for someone to say that. Yeah, very few of you this time, Seriously? by the way. Uh, some of you have, but like, prefacing your question with like an acknowledgement about the label we're doing would not go amiss. Mm -hmm. My question is, could it be okay under any circumstances to hook up with someone else while being in monogamous relationship? <laughs> no, definitely not. Can you help me yep. <laughs> A bit of a context. I'm 27, living in pretty serious relationship for fun nine years. Before meeting my girlfriend, I was a lonely teenager with social anxiety. At heart, I still am. Oh, who isn't? Yep. So she's the first and only person I've ever had sex with. Wait, wait, wait. How, how, how old are they? How long are they? They're 27. They met nine years ago. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. That makes me feel that I'm missing out on something. Yes, you are. I didn't plan to be monogamous. It just sort of happened. We fell in love and stuck together, stick together for a better or worse. Opening our relationship is not an option because... I'm sorry, because she has a problem with jealousy. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we were a were perfectly happy couple, providing each other with immense support, caring, etc. Thank you. What could be worse? Breaking up and destroying this pretty great thing we have to be free or doing something behind her back and living happily ever after. I feel like asshole just for asking about. Sorry. Keep up the good work, AAA. Love. Can I? I'll, I'll go in. Go for it. <laughs> Is that once you'll open the floodgate of having trying tried someone else, it's really cute that you think you know you know you're just gonna cheat once and that's it. I've done it once. That's it. That's it. Now I'll be happily ever after with this person forever. No, that's not how it works. You're basically gonna find out what you've been missing out on, and so that's not just gonna that's not gonna solve anything. You're gonna be basically be like, I have wasted a lot of time. Well, not necessarily. To be fair, it's you've like been Pandora's box, but full yeah, of. Sex. Oof. Oof. <laughs> That'd be nice to find, right? <laughs> uh. I'm covered in sex. Mm. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I think that is really naive. So that's me being generous to you. <laughs> On the other hand, is is uh, yeah, the way that you phrase that bit, I particularly have a lot of problems with. Oh wait, we we read it, please. The the bit where they phrase go like opening our relationship is not an option because she has a problem with the jealousy. Mm. I'm sorry, but that's like awkward phrasing, but like mate. I'm polyamorous, I've been polyamorous for, for eight years. The idea that I don't get jealous is fucking dumb. Of yeah, course I do. People don't get polyamory. What are polyamory Seriously, verbs? Seriously, mate. Like, obviously, it's just up to my partner. It's not made me feel that way. And sometimes I'm more jealous than other times. Sometimes I'm not at all because my partners have, do an amazing job at not making but me feel that way. But that's the key that thing. Like, if your partner is jealous, that's because she feels insecure with you. Yeah, yeah, it's because you're doing a bad job. So it's not that she has a problem, it's that it's that basically you would be a shitty partner. Like, either she has societal expectations of monogamy that she's finding it hard to unpack, valid, or, or that, like, you are not helping her make, like, make her feel secure and, like, that she would still definitely be loved if you were non-monogamous. And, like I said, we've both been poly, Marianne more than me, I have been extremely jealous when my partner has had other relationships and it hasn't always worked out well but we've always communicated with each other about it like yeah and, the, and honestly the way that you phrase this question it sounds to me like you're not one that should be doing polyamory i don't think you'd be very oh, good really? at it Why is that? no it's because this whole like you know she has a problem with jealousy sort of thing no that's not her fucking problem that's your problem to solve uh, that is just a, that is sadly in our society that's how we've been conditioned mm -hmm. that we are very we feel this ownership of our partners, etc. You know, so so if we if someone else is, is with someone, I know we have this fairly natural. And I don't really believe in like human nature or whatever, but I think there are some things that are fairly like you know whatever is the biology of like you know if someone else is gonna mate with someone else and I you're mean, not gonna get to mate. Like, even as a teenager, even in friendships, I would get but they jealous. But use it for capitalism, you know, like the I whole guess. jealousy thing. But like, well, example, jealousy, human nature. Thing. As a teenager, I would get jealous when I felt like my best friend was like being friends with someone else and that wasn't anything to do with sex that was to do with like jealousy comes down to a feeling of being like oh shit i'm gonna lose something well yeah and it's, it's not about sex like and it like well, yeah, it's abandonment it's abandonment yeah yeah which is is and so like it's to do with the partner then rather than exactly yourself. like yeah. making someone feel like they're not gonna be abandoned is doable it's hard but it's doable and to so saying like she's jealous but like no like yeah 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 that that you can't just dismiss it as that well okay let's park that fuck it you, you mm. know it's not gonna happen you're not gonna open up this relationship it doesn't sound like it 
I don't think you should, to be fair, because I think it will just be an imposition on her. Um, it seems to me like you have that you have needs that unfortunately are not going to be solved. You already wrote us this, us this question. It seems to me like you've already made up your mind. And honestly, for the better, man, you got together when you were... 18, yeah, Jesus Christ. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, I mean, it's very cute if you think you've met and you're like happily ever after, but that's so rare. And what it seems to me that like you don't feel like this is it. This but is also, it. you might, but there's nothing wrong with like loving someone and also watching the diversity of sexual experiences. Nothing like, wrong. I, yeah, I can love on some bits and also want to shag someone else. It's like, yeah, it's not a contradiction. And especially if this is the only person you've ever been with. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, nine years? Nine years. I met one eighteen. Wait, how old was I? Nine oh, years ago. On, man. I was like sixteen. Like, sod that. Yeah, fuck that. Jesus. No, literally, my best experiences in life were probably sexual experiences. But to think I wouldn't have them would fucking mm. suck. So, <laughs> is it ever okay to cheat? Oh, obviously, God. Pl oh, like God. obviously, officially, I say no. Obviously, officially, I'm saying no as well. Unofficially. Been that, regretted it, don't like it. Still, it's a stain on me. I don't like it. I think it was a fuck up. I regret it every day. I regret it every day, meaning it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You shouldn't be doing that because it will be something that, you know, it's like, it's like just doing a bad thing that you will, whether that's cheating or whatever, doing a bad thing. Mm. I don't know, like... If you're on a bike and ran someone over accidentally or whatever, like you, it's just a shitty thing to do. You shouldn't have done that. You should have never done that. It's just a bad thing to do. So don't do it. Cause like, not only because you're hurting someone, but in general, well, obviously that is it. It's like, it's not a good feeling. It's not fun. Like if at that moment, it's fun, but it really is only fun on that moment. And then moments afterwards, you feel dirty and you feel like you fucked up and that stays with you forever. So not recommended. So yeah, like, of course, fucking yeah, do it, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, if you have any conscience, I, 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 it's gross. I can't believe I did that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. The thing for me is not so much the cheating. It's that, like, to me, my partner is one of my best friends. And I want to tell my best friend about important things that happened to me. And it feels weird going to my partner and not, like, sharing this story. Because I'm like, oh, this, like, cool, funny, fun, awesome, sexy, hot thing happened to me. Like... I want to share that story and holding back on a story that I would otherwise share with someone like intimate with me feels really wrong and not just because of the guilt which like Mariam has talked about but also because it's like what what is your partner if not if not your best friend yeah your exactly best friend? like and the fact that you were capable of doing that like that's fucking disgusting and dark man yeah 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 I don't know. I think people will fuck up. I think, I think cheating happens, and I think it's okay that it happens. The fact that you're premeditating it is a different thing. Like, it's not worth it. I honestly, mean, it's, just fucking break up. Like, really. I mean, that's what I think. Like, honestly, in your situation, you you've been together for nine years. Like, even if you break up and then get back together in two years' time, because it turns out you love each other after all, that's a great rom com. I'd watch it. But like, but it's so weird you need a bit of time. I'm so weird because I'm giving relationship advice on this show, though I'm like not perfect in any shape or form. Like as in like I fucked that up myself, yeah, but and I feel why... gross about it, and I shouldn't be giving relationship. I didn't advice. know that though. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's funny that you didn't count it as a cheat. <laughs> I guess it wasn't. Honestly, it's kind of it's it's complicated. No, I don't think I knew that you felt gross about it. Okay, maybe that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like, say yes. <laughs> no, maybe like, we're No, 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 definitely I do. I do, I do. Yeah, like, that's the thing, like... It was also more complicated, but, like, obviously. that's the thing, like, cheating happens for a variety of reasons. I don't think... Th I don't like the idea that, like, you are automatically a shit partner for having cheated. Cheating happens, and it happens for a reason. Normally, the reason is that something in the relationship is not complete, and it's not, like, partner-blaming for any of you at me. Like, it's the idea that, like, something is not fulfilled here. Ideally, you would talk to your partner about it and, like, be able to deal with that situation, but sometimes you can't, and sometimes you cheat, and sometimes it happens, and sometimes all you want is a fucking shag, and it's shit, and... You can choose to tell your partner about it and deal with those repercussions. You can choose to hide it and deal with your own personal repercussions because of that. I'm not here to blame you for cheating. I am here to make you look at before you've cheated why you want to do that. Was that something that's redeemable in your relationship? And was that maybe you just want to be single for a bit because fucking hell, you haven't been single in nine years? You don't know yourself. You don't yeah. even know how you function without that, you know? So I like sex. It's fun. And different people are fun. 
Like, not always. Like, I'm sure, like, 60% of the hookups you have might be shit, but the other 40% will be fun and... Don't deny that to yourself. It is yeah. great. But, like, basically, don't fuck up. Don't fuck over the other person. I guess the only... Re- off camera. <laughs> no, honestly, well, I guess we'll, me and Rowan will have a chat as to why she thinks she didn't know because it was more complicated because it's like it's not wasn't as obvious. Anyways, it wasn't honestly it wasn't one of those really dark situations. Is when I'm p- putting it out there. It's, it was way more complicated. And honestly, it wasn't. I think I see it as this grand cheating, but really, it's way more nuanced and stuff. So that's that. Does that.